This time on Hobby Journeys, we'll be looking at the pre-orders for the 2nd of December, which has the Assault Marines for the Horus Heresy and the Grotner's Gate. Hello. Hello. So this time on Hobby Journeys, we'll be like usual, looking at the pre-orders that are going live Saturday, which is actually tomorrow. We're quite late with this again. 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 Hello. So I'll be having this up, I promise, tonight, Friday night. So we're time for the pre-orders tomorrow, so we can give you our thoughts on them before you have to buy the things. Um, so as usual, should we get into it? Uh, Looking at last week's pre-orders, we had the Adeptus Mechanicus and uh, Codex, Codex Necrons go live. Books. Yeah, well, these are the limited edition ones. So these are a bit more expensive, typically sixty pounds. It's it's a lot, but you know that's a thing. Uh, these have all been with us for a little bit. So we've got normal Codex, thirty-five pounds each. It's quite a lot for a book, though, isn't it? But you know, fair enough, I suppose. Uh, Combat Patrol Dex Mechanicus, ninety-five pounds. Lanky robot. Uh, the big lanky. Sidonian Scatros. I don't even like the name. I don't, I don't even like the name. But yeah, so I like the the um, Combat Patrol, £95. It's not that bad, actually. That is okay. I've um, got the various Necron characters. A warden on its own. There is, there's no way I'd be paying £22.50. Bear in mind, the first giveaway issue, basically, of Imperium magazine for £3 had him and the lieutenant in it. So, you know. Uh, no, not for me, but you know. But also, we have a couple of him. It, you know, probably quite a few of him I've got. Um, well, I got him with um, it, uh, Indomitus as well, I think. So, you know. What's Indomitus? Indomitus was the go it was the launch box, like Leviathan, but the launch box oh. for uh, ninth edition. Uh, so I got him with that as well. And this guy, the Overlord Attack, you know, so again, you know, I've got him. A couple of him, actually. But then we get into like the Overlord Translocation Shroud, good model, £24. I think that's all right. Um... Imitech, oh. Like I, him. I want you. I, I want do. you so bad. I want him. 27. He's a little bit more, but not enough that that will put me off. Uh, the Combat Patrol as well. I mean, to be honest, we've got so much of this stuff with... Uh, in, with uh, Imperium magazine. You might that, as well just um, dig out your Imperial. We things. literally have this whole combat patrol apart from the Doom Stalker, which didn't come with it. So we've got all you of these. You might as Imperium. well just dig out your Imperium magazines and. Uh, yeah, and just put it together from that. So yeah, then rather than paying the five pounds. Big tall thing on its own, and you've got it. Yeah, I think that's tankies. probably about it. Yeah, lots of tankies few other bits and pieces going on but yeah that's the uh, key essence of it so look at the sunday preview so this is gonna this is the stuff that's going on pre-order tomorrow they're gonna talk us through this so starting off we have the flesh eater court so we have a box set of these i don't think you were very enamored with these when we were looking they're at them in the right. preview they're all right they're just like ghoulish zombie things really and that's what they are and if that's what you want then that's what they are go for it go for Just, it if, if you, if you don't, you don't want, want it don't go for yeah, it if you don't if you don't want ghoulish zombie things then you're probably not going to be wanting this so but you if know you don't, if you want ghoulish zombie things go for it i think a bit more up our street here we've got the uh, mark six um assault troopers i like them yeah i do like these i actually in some ways prefer these to the 40k assault intercessors with jump packs i like these jump I packs i just like i like the helmet you like the helmet i love these helmets i always love the beaky and helmet i even love the beaky helmet when they replace it with the mark seven in a, in about 92 or 93 or something like that and I always just hark oh, back. I just wish the beaky helmet was still a thing. And I think it's because there was a famous box that had like 30 plastic marines in it. It's very thick. Um, Why did they not use the beaky helmets anymore? Um, they just came up with a different design. And I think they preferred their I other design. I think the design. beaky helmet looks better. I love the beaky helmet. it means that it, it also makes more sense. It means they get breathing room yeah. as well. Well, I was just delighted. When when I got back into the hobby and bought a squad of tactical marines, they were doing like the odd beaky helmet in with the Mark 7s, and I loved that. I did love that. But yeah, so um, I, I think these are great. I mean, you know. I don't know what it's going to cost. I'm imagining about £45 probably. I... I don't, the only thing I'm, I mean, I don't really despise the jetpack, but they're all right. Yeah. Decent. I, I like the jetpacks, they're all right. They're pretty they're good. Right. They're good, I think. I think they are solid. Yeah. Um, then we've got 
This is for Lord of the Rings, a strategy battle game. So it's some new miniatures. These are actually made of clear plastic. Uh -huh. So so what they've done here is, um, I think these come as like a clear see-through plastic. And what you can do is then dry brush some paint over the top of it that makes it the top fit not see-through. It makes it look like they're sort of part sort of ethereal and part not. Um, and yeah, you can see a full Confusing. box of them here. Yeah, and they're, they're meant to be ghosts. So these guys are ghosts, so uh, that's the point of them. So you're supposed to be able to see through them, but then the idea is the top of them is sort of, you know, actually solid, essentially. Um, but I quite like the idea, it's a good idea. I mean, the thing for me, though, is, I, you know, it sort of defeats the objects a little bit because I want to be able to paint them. I want to do a good paint job. I don't, you know, the clear plastic means you don't have to paint it. So, you know, I mean, there's still things you can do. I mean, there's definitely things you can do and with it. And they might be all right in battle. Yeah, well, that's it. Well, I quite like them. I like the look of the models. You know, they are fairly like the ones off of the films and that. So, you know, they are pretty good. Um, yeah, and then the we magazines. have a white dwarf coming out. And the Grotmus gets. Grotmus gets. Yeah, we see he is on his way. The, uh, you know, with his big squig. I like this model, the I think. The enemy of Dared Gobbo. Dared, Dared Gobbo. Yeah, he is. They are not buddies, are they? They are not buddies. It's I mean, you say. have another squig and the goblin could be friends, but I don't think they're friends. No, no, this is very true. But yeah, uh, so that is also coming out. Uh, we've got this, uh, t this is little tufts of red grass for using on bases when you're making like alien terrain, I think, is the idea. Um, so that's for making your bases with. Um, and then some books. Always, there's lots of books. Always lots of books. Um, Warhammer Plus, we have a class of painting. Sorry, it's a tankies. Tankies! Tiny little tankies. Um, and the battle report from Age of Sigma, your favourite. No. Your absolute favourite. So, what do you like out of this week's releases? What is your favourite? Beekeeping. I thought you might say that. Oh, or the red. Gobbo. Oh, the 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 red gobbo's the the grotsmas gits, yeah, exactly. December only though, and he'll be gone. Oh, but well, we should get him. To, we should get him, shouldn't we? I do quite want. We should him. got the, We've already got the red gobbo, haven't we? I do. I do, I do we want need to him. get him. Don't I do we? want him. Yeah, we'll probably get him. But it'd be all thinking between. How about? Him and how the, about? Uh, okay. I asked if I can get you it for Christmas oh, for you. Yes. Good call, and Matthew. then we paint it together. Right, so mummy can't watch this video then. Right, excellent, good plan. So I'm going to ask mummy to get you it. Yeah. Oh, and we, we, oh and then, look at this surprise. Why, why don't you just cut this bit out so she can watch it? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, um, <laughs> so, so mastermind plan. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I asked to get it for you for your birthday yeah. and we paint it together. Christmas. Yeah, 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 Christmas. Yeah. And we paint it together. Yeah, it's a good plan. Good plan, we'll do that. Right, cool. In secret, though. We're into plan. Anyway, but apart from that, we're thinking it's between the Assault Squad and... Uh, so, you can only have one, Matthew. What is your favourite? Is it the Assault Squad or is it mm. the uh, the Grotmus Gits? Gritty. You, you want the Gits? It's the Gits you like. Well, I can't argue it's a massive squig with antlers. And a I Christmas mean, it's a squig. With antlers and loads of presents in its mouth, how could you yeah. not like that? Absolutely, I think you do right. So there we go. Right, anyway, so that's the pre-orders going up Very tomorrow. Very short video today. Yeah, it's just a short one today. Anyway, what do we have to say to the viewers? Hmm. Happy Christmas and like and subscribe. Yeah, please like and subscribe, although we are still only on the 1st of December. So, you know, happy Christmas, I guess. But It's the first. December is supposed to be jolly. No, oh, fair enough. It's a jolly, right, yeah. jolly okay. Christmas. <laughs> Thanks, bye. Bye bye. <laughs>